It was a blowout quarter for Viacom, reporting earnings per share of 72 cents. Wall Street analysts were expecting 62, and there are a few people happier with these numbers than Chris Morangi. Chris is a portfolio manager at Gabelli Funds. He helps to manage $3.5 billion. As a firm, Gabelli owns more than 6 million Viacom shares, making it the second largest owner of voting stock. Chris, good to have you with us this morning. Viacom shares are already up 22% this year. Do you think they can run harder and farther on the strength of these numbers? I do. I think that we think the stock is worth $65. And uh, the best is yet to come, we think, in terms of the earnings as they move into the summer slate and continue to benefit from stronger advertising. Uh, let's talk about uh, how the numbers break down from the first quarter. $3.27 billion in revenue. It's a lot more than Wall Street was expecting, more than you were expecting. Uh, but a lot of the beat came in film entertainment. Uh, these are movies, and it's a very lumpy business, as you well know. Do you think uh, Wall Street and the investment community is going to give Viacom full credit for the 38% increase in filmed entertainment revenue? Well, the, the stream of revenue uh, and earnings coming from the media segment, the cable networks, is, is a much more valuable stream because it is a recurring revenue, high margin stream. Um, so they, they would get more credit if, they, if the beat came in media, but uh, we'll take it in film. What are they doing right? Well, they have had, a, uh, I think, a, a creative renaissance, uh, particularly at MTV. Uh, some M Jersey Shore may not be for everybody, but it certainly... Uh, uh, does well with a certain demographic and uh, is actually the number one show in, in that younger demographic. Uh, they've had uh, improved ratings at BET, Comedy Central as well, uh, and, they've, uh, and, and they've turned around the Paramount studio both with their own product like True Grid and Rango and, and with uh, distribution of others, we think like DreamWorks Animation and, and Marvel. So do you think this creative renaissance is going to continue into say the next two to three quarters perhaps? We've got some big films coming this summer. Um, Kung Fu Panda Part 2, for example. We've got the new Transformers film coming out. Thor, I think, debuts next weekend. Yep. What do you think? Do you uh, think, well, I mean, we, do you think do. these, these filmed entertainment numbers are, continue, are going to continue to be big? Uh, we, we do. We think it's, it's a very big summer. One, one film you didn't mention, which could be a sleeper, probably no longer uh, considered a sleeper, is, is Super 8, uh, which is produced by Steven Spielberg, directed by J.J. Abrams. That comes out in June. So they've got a very strong lineup this summer. Already the number one studio uh, year to date. Uh, and you know, as far as the media side, the cable networks, um, you know, we think that their rating strength, uh, typically revenue lags ratings uh, strength, and they'll carry that into the uh, new season in the fall and benefit from uh, higher prices in the scatter market. Uh, Chris, my colleague John Ehrlichman was talking just a few minutes ago about Philippe Domon, the CEO, and how he earns more than $84 million a year. Do you think these numbers suggest that a paycheck that large is perhaps worth it in this case? <laughs> Philippe's done, no question, Philippe's done a great job, as well as his team, uh, Tom Dooley and, and others. Um, I'm not going to comment on compensation, though. Oh, come on. You guys are fund managers. <laughs> that, that's not fair. You can't punt on compensation. Is he worth the 84 and a half? He, he is, uh, he is um, well, again, that's, a, that's a, a particular year in which he made that amount of money, uh, not all of it in cash. And, He's, he's, a, he's a terrific executive. At the very least, Sumner Redstone has to be happy that he didn't lose control of this company a couple of years ago, doesn't he? Well, that's for sure. As right. are we. <laughs> no doubt. Chris, thanks for joining us. Chris Morangi, he's a portfolio manager at Gabelli. They own more than 6 million shares of Viacom, making them the second largest holder of voting stock. We don't have a trade on Viacom yet, but those big blowout earnings do suggest that the stock may yet rise more, as Chris just told us.